Hi everyone, Sylvia here. I'm making this video to address Twitter accusations that were directed at me back in May. I wasn't going to make a big deal out of this, thinking people had enough of a common sense to debunk this on their own. Guess not. I'm finally making a public statement about this, because I'm tired of all the undeserved hate me and my game get. I've been labeled as a pet now, which is a term that should not be thrown around as loosely as it is, but what do you expect? So let's start off with an introduction. The accuser goes by a CEO of Isaac, but we'll just call him Isaac for convenience. The thread starts with Isaac replying to somebody named, um, one number furry hater, who simply states they wish Mercury flops within two months. I wonder why. So, you might be wondering, who is Isaac exactly? Well, according to his Twitter profile, he's a social media influencer. And, uh... Aside from what you've just seen, he also continues to deliberately misgender me whilst literally posting a screenshot of my Discord profile, which clearly shows a transgender flag in my bio, as well as the gender I identify as. In the second screenshot, I made a statement about Isaac's dating status, which I shouldn't have because I was essentially misinformed. Not much else to say here, really. Honest mistake on my end, and I apologize for that. Now, if you're observant, you would have noticed that he keeps calling me a grown ass adult. Let's bring up the definition of it. Ah. Somebody who is fully developed both physically and mentally, you say? Let's see when people reach full mental maturity. I was born in January 2005. At the time of the accusations, I was barely 4 months after turning 18. Now, let's move on to the irrefutable sources and evidence that Isaac has provided us with that confirms I am a pet. So, let's start with the first screenshot. Uh, yeah, I'll admit, this is a pretty poor taste. I felt way too comfortable in my own server because it primarily consisted of friends at the start. It wasn't even an open community server at the time yet. This is the case for all the other screenshots too. Not much to say here other than I made a stupid joke about a furry porn game. Now, let me create a fun little set of two questions that we will be coming back to quite often. 1. Does this show I am attracted towards children? And 2. Does it show I am seeking sexual advances from children? Yeah, I think this one speaks for itself. The next piece of evidence is a screenshot of me saying this. Much to Isaac's dismay, it's actually cropped. Here's the full context. I was ironically talking about my own kids. I don't have kids. This man literally nobody. How can you be offended by this? I'm not converting anyone into anything. And even if I was, how is turning people into furries a sexual act? What? As a little bonus, here's a screenshot of Isaac saying that none of these are taken out of context. Yeah. Okay. Now, again, let's go back to the two questions I've asked and apply them to this case as well. Again, I don't think I need to say much. Next, I'm going to cover two screenshots at once, to save time. The first shows me making a joke about me posting sneak peeks for my game on an OnlyFans account that I supposedly own. I don't own an OnlyFans account. I don't even know what the website looks like, if that says anything. I didn't know jokes were fucking illegal on the internet. The other piece of evidence shows me sending a screenshot of my game's mascot doing something I found cute. Captioned, His gender is little boy. It's a parody of this type of meme. Again, jokes are illegal. I'll go over the two questions again just to hammer in just how fucking stupid this thread is. In the next screenshot, I wrote down what I had said for a joke voice line for one of the game characters that was never even used in game. It was meant as an inside joke for the server itself, and it wasn't even harmful. I mean, literally says what I said in the voice line. I don't think that being gay is, is a bad thing, as you're homophobic. I don't think I need to make it clear that you don't actually need to be gay to be in the server. What? Is this not an obvious joke? Okay, up next we have... Oh dear. Well that's bad. Except no, it fucking is not. Look at the date. February 13th. I said that when the server was literally fucking created. 
Do you want to know why I said that? I said that because the server had nobody in it except for my friends. And how many were there? Fucking six! Why should I even throw such things around people that I know and trust? This is the same fucking guy who claims to not take shit out of context. Fucking pathetic, isn't it? You can probably notice I'm getting progressively angrier the more the video goes on. And also, honestly, yeah, I am. I've been working this video for like, I don't know, weeks at this point because I keep taking breaks. This is going off script, by the way. I, I just... Uh, dude, the, the more I look at the quote-unquote evidence... <laughs> this is stupid. Why am I making this video? Why do I have to make this video? Just to not be labeled as a fucking pedophile with this amazing glorious evidence. I was a, I was labeled a pedophile for this? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? My reputation is literally tarnished because... Because of this. Do you see how fucking stupid this is? I, I am completely going off script now because I just need to run for it, but like, what, what the fuck? What, what is this? Uh, okay, let me let me back, go back to reading. There are so many fucking Roblox Discord servers out there where like 14 year olds talk about their sexual preferences in general chat and nobody gives a shit. Like, you don't have to go far to find one, trust me. Not at all. And, and why do you think nobody gives a shit? It's because they're not owned by a transgender furry. Ooh, I wonder why I was chosen as a pedophile and not like anyone else. Just to hammer the point in that I don't agree with what I said when the server was small and didn't even have the need to have such rules enforced because it was a private server. Uh, these are the current server rules that have been in place basically ever since the server went public. Read through them if you wanna, mainly look at rule 4 and 3. The next segment is basically going to be about shitting on Isaac for being a hypocrite and generally an awful person, if that wasn't clear enough yet. At some point, Isaac admits that his use of pedophile was quote-unquote slightly off. He then corrects himself as trying to prove that apparently I am a groomer slash displaying predatory behavior. I, I don't need to prove why this is stupid based off the evidence you have already seen him provide. Nothing I have done has in any shape or form gotten any minor into any form of harm, let alone portrayed me trying to groom anybody. Be because I fucking wasn't, I don't think I need to explain that part. I I'm not trying to groom anybody, and I don't think I'm portraying predatory behavior either. I just made a few edgy and appropriate jokes that were dug up. This is literally the equivalent of somebody becoming famous and then people going out of the way to like fucking search five years back for their tweets just to find like one racist tweet and cancel them. This is the same shit. Actually, actually no it's not because I'm actually innocent and it's fucking taken out of context. In those cases it's not really out of context. You, you fucking get the idea. You, you, you know what I'm trying to say. At some point, there was a document made on Isaac exposing him for all the bad shit he's done. It's been since deleted because, I mean, it's been 5 months. What do you expect? That shit never stays up. It's kinda a reoccurring theme in drama like this. I don't even know it's been deleted. Some people have been replying to Isaac to, like, show him the, f the fucking document. And he either completely ignored the screenshots that were shown, or replied along the lines of, I ain't reading all that. Now let me ask you something, if he doesn't care about what you have to say to him, why should you care about what he has to say to you? Why, why do you give a shit about this guy? Aside from that, there's also a very clean pattern in Isaac specifically going after furry developers that are involved in the making of furry games. He also goes on to, again, be a complete hypocrite, calling somebody out for allowing albeists, racists and homophobes into their community whilst being bigoted himself. Nice going, asshat. And to add to it all, as a cherry on top of the cake, Isaac makes a bunch of edgy jokes himself. His Twitter is full of it, in fact. Not to mention a good portion of them have some form of sexual theme. He's a minor too, by the way. If he didn't make that clear enough already. Just get off the fucking internet if you get sensitive. There are also rumors going around that the game has sexual art. No, not really. 
people are saying that the characters not having pants is creepy and weird. Uh, probably because they are fictional characters. Uh, you know, Afro animals. Like fucking Bugs Bunny. I don't remember Squidward wearing pants. This entire thing is essentially just an excuse to hail on somebody and defamation of character by definition, which is a literal crime by the way. I've seen people in my Discord telling me stories about how they sent clips of my game on their servers, only to have their DMs bombarded with the thread this video is about, from people who either don't give a shit or just went off he said, she said. It really makes me wonder if anyone who believed this shit even asked themselves, should I research this myself? Well, the ones who did were usually just trolls who only showed up to bypass slurs from the other mod we have in place and call me a child liker than just speedman being banned. How entertaining. Can you see how ridiculous this is? There's people out there who are literally wishing me death over this. In every Roblox Discord server I've gone to, uh, if I search up Merkley, the name of my game, I get results of people just mocking and making fun of me and my community. The thread also shows some screenshots of the server members acting in a questionable or right degenerate manner. Uh, which, yeah, we don't tolerate that. It was simply picked out just to make it look bad. Isaac went as far as to claim the entire server since she filled with horny fanboys when it's really not. We do not support this kind of behavior and we moderate it. So like, stop fucking trying to make it look like that's the case, thank you. Not to mention some people go as far as to fake screens of me saying things I've never said just to prove an argument that didn't exist in the first place. This is fucking foul and you should be ashamed of yourself, honestly fuck you whoever does this type of shit. As a bonus, not only was I affected but essentially all my friends as well, some even went as far as to say they would go flying after the video was posted out of fear. Like, do you realize what you're doing to a group of innocent individuals? This is literally outrageous and you're still going. Was it my responsibility to make this video sooner? Yeah, I should have. It's my mistake for believing this would have blown over just by itself. Now I've realized that that's not gonna be the case and I've taken action, so like, what else do you want? Please stop hating me for things that I am not. I am not a fucking pedophile. I, I think that should be clear by now. Please share the word, spread this video, show it to people so that more can be aware about the actual state of the situation. Uh, just some half ass taken out of context screenshots on fucking Twitter of all places. I would like to thank everyone who's been supporting me for all this because honestly I don't know if I would have handled this by myself.